this is what you hope to see at the end of a very long and, and challenging project. Lots of water. Show you how we got there. There's my friend uh, working the controls of a very small trailer rig that we used. And uh, here it is drilling to 50 meters with a nine and a half inch tricone bit. It's a little bit large, larger bit for this project because of uh, the six inch casing. And uh, the machine held up well. It was just a challenge. We just went very slow in uh, drilling. And you can see that it got pretty dirty and muddy. It's been out here in the elements for a couple months, but it held up very well. We were fortunate enough to be near a creek uh, with lots of water, and this helps in the process of drilling. Having lots of water is, is, is very useful in, in, uh, in the later process of cleaning out the actual borehole. Here I am uh, checking the viscosity of the mud to make sure that it stays consistent, which is important in the drilling process. And then we clean out the pits and get all the debris out and cuttings, and it's an ongoing process. Lots of discussion on different roles that each person plays and dividing up the work. Here I'm uh, looking at making the uh, centralizers, or actually placing them on the casing. It's actually eight lengths of pipe with that those uh, grooves. Uh, seven of them are for the uh, actual screen, and uh, these centralizers help keep the screen in the middle of the borehole uh, so that gravel can float all the way around it. We put the hose down in the borehole one last time before putting the casing in, just to kind of clean out any remaining cuttings. That way uh, we don't have anything that's uh, down there that we don't want. Then we move in the uh, little hoist that helps place the casing in the hole. It gets quite heavy, I imagine eight lengths of six inch pipe. It gets pretty heavy for any one person or five people. Here you have the gravel which we'll put in there and you see the two screens. One has got a larger and then there's a smaller hole in that screen and it makes this quarter inch gravel which then uh, we put in the borehole around the actual pipe in the annular part of the pipe and uh, that acts as uh, part of the filter and uh, the water can then penetrate through that through into the pipe into our submersible pump. Uh, during the process a lot of the mud comes up because we pump water down to float the gravel in. This is actually a device that's helped in cleaning uh, out the mud, the drilling mud now that's down there once the pipe's in place we can move it back and forth in the pipe to clean it out and develop it. And then there, here's the actual hoist. We're using a surge process. It's another tool, and this pulls water in and out to clean out and develop the, the well. And at the end of the day, kind of a very long day, um, we uh, were satisfied with what we did and what we accomplished. Even though here they tried to block our way and they put this road rock right in our uh, entry and exit, but fortunately for a four-wheel drive, we made it okay and that is our project.